Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to install SQLite 3 on Mac OS X. And then I'm going to do the first three exercises of Learn SQL the hard way uh, using TextMate. Okay, so this is exercise zero, which is just to set up the tools that you'll need. So go to the downloads page for SQLite 3. And this page is a little confusing because there are so many links. Uh, the one you want for Mac OS X is the first one under pre-compiled binaries for Mac OS X. So click on that and it's going to download. Once it's done, you can click on this file to extract it. And there, that's the extracted SQLite 3 executable. Now, since it's a command line program, uh, it'll be far easier for us to work with it if it's in one of our executable paths. So I'm going to move it into an executable path using the command line program. Uh, so let's start up, I mean, using the terminal. So I'm going to start up the terminal. And I know that it is in my downloads folder, so SQLite 3. So there it is. So I'm going to move it into the user local bin directory. Actually, I need to do a sudo in order to do that, to have the proper permissions to do that. So I'm going to sudo mv downloads SQLite 3 and then user local bin. Okay, that worked. Uh, usually you will need to enter your password in order to do this. Um, I think I skipped it because I had done that uh, very recently before. So anyway, so at this point you should be able to type SQLite 3 and go into the SQLite prompt just like that. Oops, how do you quit this? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so now um, I want to uh, do the exercises for you. I'm gonna go back to exercise one. Uh, actually, what I want to do is um, set up the set up TextMate to be my execution path as well because that I prefer uh, driving everything from the command line and the way to do that is by making a symbolic link uh, using the ln command and I know the TextMate is installed in Applications, textmate.app, contents, resources, mate. Mate. Okay, there we go. Mate. And I'm going to link that into user local bin mate. Ah, again, I need to do sudo in order to get permission to do that. Okay, so at this point, I should have access to the mate. Okay. So anyway, so now I'm going to uh, make a folder called SQL hard. Change into that folder using the cd command. And then I'm going to uh, start mate in this directory. Okay, so there we go. So this is text mate. This is the text editor and this is the um, file browser sort of integrated into text mate. And for exercise one, um, I am to create a new file that's called ex1.sql. So there it is. And what I'm going to do is just type in what Z told me to type in. So one of the philosophies of uh, learn code the hard way is you never copy and paste code 
uh, from the tutorial. Uh, rather, you always type everything in by hand. I mean, you're still copying, but you have to type everything in. So I'm going to uh, adhere to that here. So what I need to do here By typing very easily and this is actually how I do my my day-to-day -day work I, I like to have this split screen layout so anyway now that I have put this code in uh, TextMate and have saved the file um, I am ready to oh I guess I want to oh okay I'm ready to run this command which is SQLite 3 ex1.db left arrow or less than ex1.sql just like that and hit enter incomplete sql so I must have missed something so I'm gonna go back to testmate textmate I think I missed a semicolon here so I'm adding it back and going back rerun the command and that seemed to work at least it didn't complain and um, and Z told me to make sure that it created a database use ls-l and there it is I am seeing the same sort of thing that he listed here okay um, I will leave the extra credit to you, although um, f for you know to speed this up. But um, I do highly recommend you try the extra credit out. So let's go to the exercise number two now. Okay. So exercise number two, e x two sequel. Now let's try to run that. Clear the terminal first. And you can always clear the terminal by using the clear command. Okay, so to run this, SQLite 3 ex2.db less than ex2.sql. I have a syntax error. Looks like I misspelled create on the first line. And uh, when you get an error, uh, first look at the line number, and then you you can sort of see the line numbers on the left of your text editor. So this I had an error on line one, so you know to immediately look on line one. And looking at the line number is just helpful in general. Okay, I have another error. Okay table pet already exists and table person pet already exists um, that's because I, I think last time I ran it even though this statement failed uh, the database was forgiving and continue on and create these two tables anyways but uh, if I wanted to sort of run this file clean I can always remove this ex2.db file and that would be equivalent to dropping the database, deleting the database. Um, and so now the ex2 database is non-existent. So I can rerun this and everything uh, works without complaint. Okay, so this says, um, let me see what he wants me to do. This one wants to you to print out the schema. So let's try that. I think I need to do SQLite 3 ex2.db. Okay. Now type, so now you're in the SQL shell. 
uh, rather than the Unix shell, which is what we were uh, under. So Unix shell, you can see there's, it starts with a dollar sign. Uh, SQL shell in this case starts with this uh, greater than sign. So now we're typing in either SQL commands or SQLite specific uh, meta commands. And I think schema is one of these meta commands. And if I type schema, just like in the tutorial, I get all the um, create statements we use to create the tables that are in it currently. Okay, let's move on to exercise three. I'm gonna create ex3.sql. Again, I'm just Okay, um, I think it wanted me to create the um, database out of the um, schema from the second exercise. So I'm going to follow that. Oops, ah, let's get out of the SQL shell because these are Unix commands and you can you can tell that by seeing the dollar sign here. Um, so I want to make sure I have the dollar sign here. Okay, SQLite 3 ex3.db less than ex2.sql. That seemed to work without any complaints. And now I can do the run the exercise 3.sql, which simply inserts some rows into those tables. Uh, with the SQL option, uh, it can, as each command it executed, it also prints the command back out into the terminal here. Okay, so I think this worked. And uh, if you want to inspect the database, you can also you can always do SQLite three, the file of the database files name, and then at this point you can explore the database using regular SQL commands, um, which actually in the tutorial we haven't reached that point yet, but. A simple one is just select star from table name. So select star from person, semicolon, that give you um, all the data in the person table. Select data from pet, semicolon, that gives you all the data that are currently in the pet table. Okay, and I can quit. The, the way to quit is control D, by the way. Uh, okay, uh, that's all I have to show you. Uh, hopefully we are caught up here um, and that this helps you uh, move along. And if you have any questions, then by all means, send me a message.